Hello friends. Today our topic is design vehicle for highways and urban streets. As you all know, there is a wide variety of vehicles using road facility, ranging from a motorized two wheeler to a tractor trailer unit. Design requirements for all these vehicles are different and sometimes even conflicting also. All these requirements cannot be met in a single design. Therefore, the normal practice is that the geometrics are designed for a particular type of vehicle and then necessary provisions are made to accommodate the largest vehicle and this vehicle is called the design vehicle. Design vehicle is a vehicle that must regularly be accommodated on a road without encroachment into other travel lanes. It is a motor vehicle the weight, dimension and operating characteristics of which are used to establish highway design controls to accommodate vehicles. And dimensions and movement of design vehicle play important role in deciding the geometrics of the road like lane width, radius of the curve at intersections and driveway corners. The choice of design vehicle directly affects the design of the street impacting the safety and comfort for each user. In particular, Intersections and lane transitions are designed for comfortable use by the design vehicle. Now in this definition, you can see there are two types of vehicles. One vehicle which is regularly using the road and another vehicle which will be occasionally using the road. So for example, at this intersection for example, this is the design vehicle which is a regular user of the road for which this radius of the curve is provided for right turn. But this is an occasional user which is called the control vehicle. So we should accommodate this vehicle also and one way could be that you shift this stop line from this position to this position so that it can encroach in other lanes, other direction of the movement and then make a comfortable turn. So design the turning radius for a design vehicle but use geometric techniques such as advanced stop line, temporary lane closure to accommodate occasionally present control vehicle at different speeds without increasing the turn radius and speed of the design vehicle. Now vehicle characteristics affect the design of the road and traffic performance both. The characteristics which are important are aesthetic as well as dynamic and aesthetic characteristics include dimension weight and maximum turning angle. These are the characteristics which are almost fixed. And dynamic characteristics vary with the driver. It includes speed, acceleration, braking characteristics and some aspects of body design of the vehicle. Now this table shows how vehicle characteristics will affect design elements of a road. Width of the vehicle for example will affect lane width width of shoulders, width of parking loads, length will decide horizontal alignment, minimum turning radius, extra widening on horizontal curves, passing side distance, road capacity and parking facilities. Similarly, height will decide the clearance under bridges, subways and electric service line. Weight of the vehicle is important to design the pavement thickness and also for ruling and limiting gradients and it is also used to design road bridges. Turning radius is important for parking and turning maneuvers, design of curves, design of intersections, channelization and driveways. Speed is extremely important and that is used in design of every element of the road, horizontal and vertical alignment, super elevation, limiting radius, side distance, lane capacity, intersection design and skid resistance. Power of the engine of the vehicle will decide rolling and limiting gradient, speed of the vehicle and various resistances which are offered during movement of the vehicle. Acceleration characteristics, time required to cross intersection, passing maneuvers, gap acceptance and similarly braking characteristics will decide the stopping distance, overtaking side distance and traffic capacity. Headlights of the vehicle is important for night operation and night accident. I should standard classify six types of design vehicles, passenger car, single unit truck, bus, semi-trailer, intermediate, semi-trailer large, 
and semi trailer full trailer combinations now single trailer single unit truck is of 30 feet length having two wheels at the front and two or four wheels at the rear and similarly a bus 40 feet long with a wheel base of 25 feet and semi trailer can be of wp40 wb50 or wb67 now 60 this number here indicates the total length of the vehicle so it is a semi trailer intermediate a large and a combination irc has standardized three type of vehicles single unit truck semi trailer and semi trailer combination so design vehicle here is a truck or a semi trailer or semi trailer com combination and this is how irc defines type 2 type 3 trucks where you have a single axle in the front and single axle in the rear it is type 2 when you have a tandem axle at the rear it is type 3 and similarly you have different trailer units now this number here indicates number of axles in the front vehicle and number of axles in the rear vehicle so it is type 3 2 3 axles in the front vehicle and 2 axles in the rear vehicle similarly it can be type 3 3 also typical maximum dimensions of motor vehicles as per ashto and as per irc width 2.6 meter as per ashto and 2.5 meter as per irc similarly height of the vehicle Maximum height for a truck is taken 3.8 to 4.2 meter and for double decker bus it can be 4.75 meter. Length varies with the type of truck. For single unit truck it is 11 meter, for bus it is 12 meter, for tractor trailer and semi trailer it is 16 meter and for other combinations it is 18 meter. So as per IRC the maximum length of a vehicle is 18 meter whereas as per ASTO it is 19.8 meter or 65 feet. Design vehicle for intersection varies with the location also. If the intersection is located at rural highway and if it is a intersection formed by a joining of a local minor road, the design vehicle should be taken as single unit truck. But if two major streets cross each other on a highway, and semi trailer design is taken as the design vehicle for designing the turning radius of the intersection. For sub urban arterial section, it is semi trailer unit, and for urban arterial and sub arterials, and also for urban CBD area, it is single unit truck. Residential streets, the curves at intersection in residential streets are designed for passenger car only. The principal dimensions affecting design are the minimum center line turning radius, the wheel base and the path of the inner rear, rear tire. Effects of driver characteristics such as the speed at which the driver makes a turn and slip angles of wheels are minimized by assuming that the speed of the vehicle for a minimum radius that the sharpest turn is around 15 km per hour or less. The boundaries of the turning path of the several design vehicles while making the sharpest turns are established by the outer trace of the front overhang and the path of the inner rear wheel. For example, here this is the 90 degree turn of a passenger car. So the minimum, the inner radius is 3.5 meter and minimum outer radius is 5.85 meters. That should be provided. Though the turning path requires a width of only 2.3 meter, additional clearance should be provided whenever possible to accommodate a larger variety of car size and driver abilities. Similarly, for a semi trailer unit, you can establish the turning path. Now, here the minimum turning radius for inner path is 5.9 meter and for outer path it is 12.2 to 12.4 meter and similarly you can draw the 
turning path for other types of vehicles also and these are important in designing the horizontal curves as well as intersections now a smaller turning radii increase the pedestrian safety see for example at this intersection this is the turning radius for a left turn or you can say turning radius for a right turning vehicle here now as you increase the turning radius the distance to be covered by pedestrian or you can say the length of the road to which a pedestrian will be exposed to will increase say say in this figure for a radius of 15 feet if you provide a turning radius of 15 feet here this is only the base width which is required to be crossed by a pedestrians but if you increase this radius to 33 feet then this exposure will increase by 20 feet so the length to be crossed by a pedestrian will be base length plus 20 feet and if you further increase this radius of turn to 50 feet then it will be base plus 36 feet more is the width to be crossed that's what will be the safety of pedestrians now another important characteristics of a vehicle in design of pavements is gross vehicle weight of transport vehicles and this gross vehicle weight of transport vehicles in india has been revised by ministry of road transport and highways in july 2018 for example for a six tire truck this was earlier 16200 kg it has now been revised to 19000 kg and similarly for a 10 tire multi axle truck where you have a tandem axle at the rear and single axle at the front this has been raised from 25000 kg to 28500 kg so that is how these weights have been revised for different categories of the vehicles similarly for a 14 tire single changes rigid truck unit it has gone up from 37000 to 43500 but one thing we should remember that all these weights are only for the purpose of charging the fee for overloading payments in india are still designed for a single axle and single wheel load on either side for a weight of 6.63 ton the standard axle load for a dual wheel assembly is 8.16 ton for a tandem axle with dual wheel on either side 15 ton and tridem axle with dual wheel on either side is 22.84 ton now that is how these axles are defined this is a single axle with single tires on both sides single axle with dual tire on both sides tandem axle with single axle tandem axle with single tires and tandem axle with dual tires now this is a better understanding of tire configuration or you can say axle configuration of vehicles single wheel and single axle that is the single wheel and single axle single wheel tandem axle will have single wheel on both side and single wheel tridem axle will have three axles but single wheel on either side and tridem axle with dual wheel will have dual wheels on the side and three axles like this this is a tridem dual wheel assembly and similarly this one this one here is tandem dual wheel assembly and the front one is a single axle single wheel assembly so friends thank you very much for watching this video you can write your feedback in the comment box